In this video, I'm going to cover the top 10 features of GitHub Copilot. The very first thing that I want to show you are question and answer blocks. So over here, you can see that I have an empty Python file. And when I write a comment with a hashtag followed by a Q and a colon, I can write any question I want, such as what does REST stand for? And then when I switch line, you will see that it gives me an answer. This is really convenient because it saves you the time of having to open the sidebar chat window to ask your question. But one thing that you should be aware of is that you use the appropriate comment notation depending on the coding language. So if you were in a JavaScript file, you would use two forward slashes to create a comment instead of the hashtag. The second thing that you should know is how you can interact with GitHub Copilot from your editor. So apart from the method that I just showed you with the question and answer blocks, another way is by pressing Control, Shift, and I, and this opens a small window at the very top. And at the top, you can now go ahead and ask your question, such as how many bits are in a byte? And after a moment of thinking, it is going to give you the answer to your question. And the next way that you can also interact with GitHub Copilot is through the side window. So one way of opening it is by pressing the small icon over here at the top that is going to open the question on the left sidebar, but you can also press on this little chat icon. So that is also going to open up this chat window. The next thing that is really helpful to know is that GitHub Copilot supports your native language. If, for example, your native language is German and you write something along the lines of importiere das Modul Pi game, which translates to import the module Pi game, you're going to see that it does exactly that without you having to write everything in English. This is nice to know, especially if your native language is not English or if you have some word that you've simply forgotten in English. The fourth thing that I want to show you is how you can cycle through suggested code snippets and how you can open the suggestions within a new window. Let's say, for example, you want to create a function that calculates the number of days that lie between two dates. So within a comment, we can simply write something along the lines of calculate days between two dates. And afterwards, when we define the function, we get a code snippet that is suggested. And if we hover over the code snippet that's suggested, you'll see that there's the small pop-up and it says one out of three. And that is because we have three suggestions and we can simply skip through these suggestions by clicking on this right arrow. But if you want to see even more suggestions and want to open that within a new window, you can simply press control and enter. And you'll see on the right hand side, it opens a new window where you'll be able to see all the individual suggestions that there are. And if you want to choose one of these suggestions, you can simply click on accept solution. So for example, if I take this one over here and accept it, it will be brought over into my window. Now let's get to the fifth thing on my list, which is the built in fix it and explain it feature. So we just added this one function to the editor and what you can do is you can highlight it, right click on it and under Copilot, you can click on explain this. What this will do is it will open the side window and it's going to explain what the function actually does. So as you can see here, as we speak, a small explanation is being added to the left hand chat window explaining what exactly it is that this function does. So that's the explain this feature. Let's talk about the fix this feature because that's quite helpful too. So let's go ahead and break this function by simply removing one of the arguments. And then the next thing that we can do is we can highlight it and we can go to the copilot and click on fix this. And it will automatically detect that there's something wrong. And you can see that it suggests that we add this second argument back to our function. And we can go ahead and accept this change and you'll see that it's now fixed again. The sixth thing on my list is one of my personal favorites, which is the terminal fix this function. This allows you to fix the errors that come up in your terminal using one click. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and add a print statement that is going to calculate the difference in days between two dates. And I'm going to deliberately leave one closing bracket away. So that's going to give me an error. So now when I go ahead and run this in Python, 
um, you can see that in the terminal output, it says that there's a syntax error and that the bracket was never closed. Now, if I go ahead and press on these two star icons and subsequently press on explain using Copilot, you can see that the top window opens and it's going to give me an explanation of what went wrong in the terminal. And it even gives me the possibility to copy the fix straight away when, and subsequently I can go ahead and paste it and now everything is going to run just as it should, giving me the correct answer. The seventh feature on my list are automatic commit messages. Whenever you have made changes to your project and you want to commit these changes to your GitHub repository, you need to add a message to your commit. And that can be quite cumbersome sometimes, but GitHub Copilot makes it really easy for you because all you need to do is you need to press these two star icons in the message banner and it automatically creates your uh, commit message for you. So this is quite nice because it saves you the time of having to come up with some sort of creative commit message every time. Number eight on my list are something that we call agents. Agents allow you to provide some context with your prompts. And the context is usually the code that you have written in your editor. What that means is that when you send a prompt using GitHub Copilot, the answer will not only be based on all the data that's been fed into ChatGPT4, which is what all of this is running on, but also the code that is in your workspace. To demonstrate how this works, take a look at the project that I'm currently working on. This is a Chrome extension and it has a pretty large code base. So what I can do in the Copilot chat is I can write at workspace, which is going to give my prompt the context of my entire workspace. And I can ask it a question such as where in my workspace do I use instances of the class app manager? Now this is going to take just a moment to process, but after a few moments, you will see that it says where exactly within my code base I have used the instance of the class app manager. So this saves a ton of time, especially if you're trying to figure out where exactly features are implemented within your code base. Number nine is another agent that you can use in the chat window, which is the at VS code agent. This agent enriches all your prompts with information about VS Code. So if you have a question regarding VS Code, such as where a feature is located or how to do something, you can use this agent and it will give you very precise information about how to solve your problem. So for example, if I want to change the theme of my VS Code editor, what I can do is I can write at VS Code and subsequently I can write the question that I want to ask, which is, how do I change the theme? And in just a moment, you will see that GitHub Copilot will respond and you can even show the command in the command palette. So when I click on show in command palette, you'll directly be navigated to the command that allows you to change the theme. And the 10th feature that I wanna share is going to be down in the comments below, which is where I want you guys to share your most popular features and any of the ones that I have missed. We're gonna leave it at that for this video, and if it helped you out, then make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.